Hello students, welcome back to Edipedia Word Videos. My name is Niyati Seth and I'll be dealing with the topic How would you show that phloem transports food substances? This is the section of the chapter transport in plants. I have already taught you about the phloem loading and unloading at source and sink respectively in the previous section of the presentation. So you can refer to that for better understanding. Okay. So how would you show that phloem transports food substances? So uh, a, a very simple experiment which is called as girdling. It was used to identify the tissue through which food is transported. This uh, will be uh, doing with three experiments okay but uh, for that I'll have to give you an overview uh, that transport of food and plants food substances such as uh, sugar amino acid they are manufactured in green leaves okay which acts as source through the process which is called as photosynthesis so this is the uh, source or leaf uh, wherein sucrose is actively transported into phloem see this is the phloem which is represented by this pink color this is the sieve uh, tube element and water follows by osmosis so movement of uh, sugar is this and this is the movement of flow of water so this creates a positive pressure potential that causes sap to flow within the phloem and this is the companion cell which is in close proximity with the sieve tube element so sucrose it is actively transported out of sieve tube cells and water follows by osmosis okay so this is the high sugar concentration uh, which is source and this is the low sugar uh, concentration of at the sink you can say so translocation is the process of transporting food substances downwards from the leaf to all other parts of a plant through the phloem okay so there are three experiments that show phloem transport food substances okay first is using effets before that just know that a simple experiment which is called as girdling it is used to identify the tissue through which food is transported on the trunk of a tree a ring of bark up to a depth of a phloem layer can be carefully removed and in absence of a downward movement of food the portion of the bark above the ring on the stem becomes swollen after few weeks so this simple experiment it shows that phloem is a tissue which is responsible for translocation of food so herein we'll be doing the experiment that shows phloem transport food substances so first we'll be using efforts see this is the effets which is uh, you can say type of insect and this is the stylect of a effet uh, that penetrates the stem this is the stem of a tree and thus it reaches to the phloem vessel see this is the uh, stylect of a effet that reaches into the phloem vessel okay and this is the stem of uh, plant and this is showing an effet feeding on phloem sap so effet it penetrates the stem into the phloem using its mouth part which is called as stylet so this is the stylet and it sucks the plant sap from phloem a feeding effet can be anesthetized or and can stylet cut off the phloem sap flows out through the stylet and can be analyzed so it was found to contain sugar and other organic substances so this shows that phloem transport food substances uh, mainly sucrose okay so this was the first experiment using an effet that feeds on the phloem sap now another is ringing experiment students as i have told you that uh, uh, it is a simple experiment which is called as girdling which was used to identify the tissue through which food is transported and on the trunk of a tree a ring of a bark up to a depth of a phloem layer can be carefully removed see this is the layer which is removed on a trunk of a tree a ring of a bark see this is the bark up to a depth of a phloem layer it can be uh, carefully removed and in the absence of a downward movement of food the portion of a bark above the ring on the stem it becomes swollen so above the ring so uh, this part becomes swollen see this is the swollen part see this is the area from where ring has been removed and it is left for a week and thus uh, it can be 
or it becomes swollen after a few weeks and this is a simple experiment that shows phloem as a tissue which is responsible for the translocation of food and thus a transport takes place in one direction that is towards the root so this experiment can be performed by you easily okay and uh, reduced growth is seen below the reins uh, so see this uh, growth is uh, you know has been reduced and leaf are affected and unaffected in the ringing experiment which was performed to show phloem transport food substances now the third experiment is using radio isotope students see this is the leaf of a cell this is the stem so the leaf is supplied with radioactive carbon in the form of uh, 14 co2 that is in the form of carbon dioxide so syringe is there which just injects a liquid containing 14 co2 that is radioactive carbon into a flask see this is the flask okay wherein this uh, is the leaf is inserted in it and syringe is there which injects a liquid that contains uh, radioactive carbon into the flask in the form of 14 co2 okay so this is the photosynthesizing leaf that performs uh, photosynthesis uh, or you can say that forms uh, or makes its own food by the process known as photosynthesis so that's why it is called as photosynthesizing leaf and this is the liquid that contains 14 co2 and the stem is sectioned here okay so this is the zoom view or of, of a transfer section of a stem see this is the phloem this is the xylem i've already taught you in detail about the vascular bundle in third section of the presentation of this uh, chapter you can refer to that for better understanding so when leaf uh, has had a chance to photosynthesize a thin section is cut from the stem and it is uh, viewed in the x-ray film so dark area it correspond to the position of a phloem so this is phloem this is the phloem okay so the section is placed on x-ray film and the radioactivity it just darkens the film and thus you can say that it shows that phloem is the one that transports food substances okay so this was all about the three experiments that shows that phloem is the conducting tissue that transports food substances from leaf to the other parts of a plant body or other growing parts of a plant body so this was all about the section and this ends the chapter transport in plants in my next section of the presentation we'll be discussing about the plant kingdom so till then stay tuned and keep watching it video videos thank you